Hello everyone. With the introduction of Azure AI Agent service, Microsoft has made the creation of AI agents very easy. There are multiple tools which you can use with your agents and the best part is that you don't have to manage the underlying infrastructure. So using the Azure AI Agent service, you can do the document search, image search, data processing as well as mathematical calculations without managing the underlying infrastructure. I have already created a video on this topic whose link you can find the description of this video. But in that video, I have used the SDK or the code to create the AI agents. But now Microsoft has introduced the UI in Azure AI Foundry using which you can create the AI agents and you don't have to code even. You can just add the different tools which are available in Azure AI agent service and your agent will be ready. Once your agents are ready, you can either consume them in your code or in AI frameworks like Autogen. So in this video, I'll show how to create AI agents using the UI in Azure AI Foundry and then consume it in my code. So let's start. I'm logged into Azure portal now and let's start with the creation of Azure AI Hub. For that, let's go to Azure AI Foundry service, create a hub. I'll create a new resource group, RG Hub, and then use the region East US2 because there are only specific regions where Azure AI agent service is available. And let's name it as Shell and the Hub 01, and it will create an open AI service too. It will create a storage account to save all the files in the hub or the project and all the credentials of the storage account will be saved in the key vault. So go to the networking. So I'll use the public and, and the identity type will be system assigned managed identity. However, for the storage account access type, it will be credential based access. So let's review and create and create the Azure AI hub. So the deployment has started. I'll pause the video and we'll be back once Azure AI hub is created. AI Hub is created now. Let's go to resource. And from there, I'll launch the Azure AI Foundry. And now I'm in the management center. And first thing I'll do is create a project. So create a new project. I'll use the default name. Create. The project is created now, as you can see. The project connection string and the different values like Azure OpenAI service, which, which is connected to this project. On the left side, you can see in the preview that you can build and customize the agents. If you click here. Now using the Azure OpenAI service, which we have created with the hub, we'll build the agent. Let's go. We haven't deployed any LLM yet. So first what we'll do is we'll deploy LLM. Now it's asking us, but we'll use the open AI models. So let's go for GPT 4.0, confirm. And when we'll go to the documentation of the supported models in Azure AI agent service in East US 2, you can either choose 13.5, or 6.8. 6.8 is the latest one. So let's select 6.8. And let's increase this and deploy. So now our GPT model 4.0 will be deployed, which is supported by Azure AI agent service. So our first agent is created. However, this agent doesn't have any tools or functions added. So what we'll do now here is click on the agent. It's providing the agent name. You can change the name of the agent and it's providing the different version. But now if we'll go down, it has two options, knowledge and actions. And if we'll go to the documentation in the tools, the knowledge tools, you can do the web search using the Bing, file search, Azure AI search, and in the actions, there are function calling, code interpreter, open AI defined tools, Azure functions. However, not everything is supported now. In the knowledge tools, all three are supported, 
but in the action tools only the code interpreter is supported so now in this case i'll create one knowledge tool using the uploaded files so it will create a new vector store and all the underlying infrastructure will be managed by microsoft itself what i have to do is just upload the files i have one employee handbook document so i'll just upload that and once this is done it will create a new vector store and do the vectorization on it so the vector store is created now we have to define the instructions you are a helpful assistant who does the document search and provide concise output so this is done and it's auto saved you don't have to save anything so whatever you do here it's auto saved now we can test this in the playground let's go to the playground agents playground because right now we have only one agent so automatically this agent will be selected if we'll drop down there is only one agent if there are multiple then you can choose which one to use and let's open the employee handbook document and let's ask about the sick leave how many sick leaves are earned on a prorated basis let's copy this how many sick leaves are earned on a prorated basis and it's generating the response from the document as you can see it's providing the files so it provided a concise output one day 7.7 hours and the information it has provided now perfect and it has provided the grounding document also so that you can verify the information from the document so perfect our ai agent is ready as you can see we have a agent id which is available and this agent does the document search you can use the azure ai search service where you deploy the underlying infrastructure and manage it but in this case we are just uploading the files and everything is managed by microsoft itself now let's create another agent which is code interpreter agent so another agent is created we have used the same gpt we don't need to create a new one and in this agent let me copy it from here analysis from document so now in the actions in the there is an option of code interpreter where you can upload all these types of file and it can be used with the data sets generating code graph charts or interpreting any information so if you'll scroll down you select the local files and all these files will be saved in the storage account which is attached to the hub so office supply i have one excel file created sample excel file where there are different office supplies in the different regions with the different representatives and the different items units unit cost and the total cost so there are different like you can see the pencil there are different pencil available for the different user different location so what i'll do is i'll get the total price of the pencil which is not mentioned here so let's go back to our code and it's not started let's upload and save and perfect it's done now let's go to the playground let's change the name office supply and let's change the another name to handbook so it will be auto saved and the name is changed now let's go to the playground and try the second agent which we have created so drop it down to the office supply agent and let's look for total price of pencils
So now it has created thread and the different messages will be in the thread. And it's going through the file. It's interpreting it. And finally, it will provide the output. And perfect, it has provided the total price of the pencil. So all the code interpretation is done in the background by the Microsoft itself. And now you have two different agents. One can do the document search. Another one, another one can do the document search along with some computational analysis. Let's use the office supply agent in the code. I have already created the code and I'll upload this code in the GitHub and you can find the link of the GitHub in the description of this video. So now we have this code where we are initializing the project, defining the agent with the agent ID, then retrieving the agent and then creating a communication thread and finally check all the messages where we are first calculating the total price of the pencils and then retrieving the messages. Now there are two values which we have to provide first the connection string. So let's go back to overview and you can find the project connection string here. Copy it here and paste it here and don't worry about the connection string. I'll delete the resources before uploading the video and then the agent ID. Let's go to the agents and office supply agent. Let's copy its ID and provide it here. Save it. So this is the Python code and before running any Python code, it's recommended to use the virtual environment so that you can install any required packages or the dependencies without any version clash. So let's open the terminal. So first I'll create is a Python virtual environment. hyphen M virtual environment. So this will create the virtual environment. And then once the virtual environment is created, I'll activate it. So it's created now V E N V scripts activate. As you can see, virtual environment is activated. Now the next step is to install the required packages. So what we're using is Azure AI projects and Azure identity for default Azure credentials and, and the project initialization. So let's install the packages. So pip install Azure AI projects, Azure identity. So it's installing the packages. And once this is done, next step will be to make a connection with the Azure subscription. And perfect, the packages are installed. Now let's connect to the tenant. There is only one subscription. so. I'll log into that subscription and perfect. And it's providing the details of my subscription. And that's all good. Now the next step is to run this Python code. So it will provide the total price of the pencils. Python app.py. So first client initialization is successful. Then it should retrieve the agent. Then agent is retrieved, office supply, that's the correct agent. And perfect. First it's calculating the price of the pencils. Then it's understanding the content of the files. Then it's checking the different columns. And finally, it did the computational analysis and provided us the value. And this is perfect. So now we have created two agents using the UI of Azure AI Foundry without using any code. And these two agents perform the different functionality based on the tools which are assigned to them. And most of these tools are managed by the Microsoft itself. So you don't have to worry much. So though there is a limitation of how many files you can upload, but in future Microsoft will definitely change these values. And there are different ways you can consume these AI agents. We have used the Python code in this lab. You can use the Autogen or any other different AI frameworks. So that's all I wanted to show in this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.